What's going on everyone? Welcome to this video and today I'm going to be looking at why I went from VS Code to NeoVim after using VS Code for about a year. Let's get straight into the video. Quick note, if you do like what I am showing you, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe, all of the good stuff, so I can keep making more of these videos. The first reason is it's in the terminal. What I mean by this is that it's essentially going to be well integrated and referenced in other terminal programs because of its popularity. Vi has been around for a while. If you don't know what Vi is, it's essentially the predecessor to Vim, which is the predecessor to Neo, Neo Vim. Although they're not really predecessors, they also live independently, but that's, I digress. So essentially, the Vi was really popular back then, and it's still popular now, along with Nano and Emacs, two other terminal text editors. And you can see this popularity when it's referenced in other programs, like I mentioned. So let's see a for the first example. This is the NNN file manager. I open up a file, and I just want to change something. Thing. of course I'm not actually going to change it and then I can just exit and then go back to doing what I, I usually do it's just that it re can return to that workflow it doesn't have to leave the app the terminal terminal multiplexer that I have going on which is in this case alacrity if you have a terminal that you like to use and you don't want to leave then NeoVim is great for that it's not a separate application unless you want it to be a separate application the next example is this open source project called lazy git you can see I have a git repository here and I just go into a file I want to change it opens up NeoVim just like that I change it and I go back return to lazy git back in my workflow. It's a very speedy workflow, it's very easy to use, and the popularity of terminal user interfaces goes hand in hand with the popularity of terminal text editors. So you can see why NeoVim is such a popular choice at this point in time because of its wide range of applications and wide expansibility with applications. The second one is ease of use. And what I mean by ease of use is that it becomes really easy to use that you can just tell NeoVim what to do and it just does it. Now, a lot of people like to confuse this topic for speed, but I happen to think that VS Code and NeoVim Hacker can be the same or like a similar speed if somebody were to learn the product productivity features of both software. So let's ignore the speed argument for now. And let's just say that if you want something to be really, if you want something to be intuitive, really fast in your brain, then NeoVim is the way to go. Here's an example of this. A common example is I want to delete that word. If I want to delete a ver word in VS Code, what do you do? You can take the mouse over that word and double click that selects the word and delete it. Or if your cursor is already there, you can just do option delete if you're at the begin end of the word, or you could just select it using the keyboard. There's a, there's a whole bunch of options that you could do in VS Code. But in NeoVim, there's really only one really good option, that's delete word. If you want to delete a word, you just type in DW. You'll find this con you'll find this pattern commonly with Vim applications that they're very intuitive in how they approach commands. You want to do a command, it's not some abstract sort of word or abstract action that you have to do using your mouse or something. It's all on the keyboard and it all usually is going to make sense. Second, uh, second one is I want to change the next three words. What do you do here if you want to change the next three words in VS Code? You really only have one option. You could just do option, delete, delete, delete. That's a repeated key press, but many people don't want to do that. So you can just select three words, delete them. What we find here is that NeoVim is set up in this way where you can actually put in the number of words you want to change. So C3W just means change three words. And actually you'll find that they're in order. So change three words. You don't even need to use your mouse. The last one is I want to insert some text at the beginning of the line. Well, how do you do this in VS Code? It's kind of easy, essentially. You just go to the beginning of the line using your mouse or your keyboard, command or control, left arrow, and you just have to start typing text. In NeoVim, it becomes easier than that somehow because it reduces the step of having to go to the beginning of the line. It just does it for you. If you want to do that, you just do capital I, shift I, and that brings you to the beginning of the line and does it. So these keystrokes are very intuitive. You want to insert something, you do shift I. It's not some complex command. And there's so many more like this. You want to go to a specific line, you just type in the line number and click G, and that just goes to that line. So you'll find these patterns throughout NeoVim that actually become more intuitive and make you want to use the manual less. You're going to have, you're going to be using the help command in Vim a little less if you realize what the patterns in NeoVim and Vim and Vi are. The third reason is plugins. Here's a good example of a really good plugin for NeoVim specifically, not for Vim or anything. It's called Telescope. And essentially it's just a fuzzy finder. It's almost like FZF, which is for Vim, but it has this preview window. 
and it has icons as well. So you can see that it tells you what you're trying to find, where it is, and why you want it by using the preview window. It comes with lots of other things like grep functionality, and you can find your tabs. And of course, you could do all of this in VS Code as well. But I like this terminal user interface presentation. That's it's just this little window in a terminal window. It's kind of it's very minimalistic and very easy to see where everything is. So the plugins made by the community are a really good reason to work with NeoVim and to use it as your main text editor. And that's the three reasons why I like to use NeoVim. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe like I mentioned and comment down below as well what other reasons you like to use NeoVim. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.